like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars exodus chapter 23 and verse 25 show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest and ye shall serve the lord your god and he shall bless your bread is that in your bible and thy water and i will take sickness away from the midst of thee but it is under the guise of service to serve God, listen carefully, to serve God does not just mean to be a worker in church. I hope you know you can be a worker in church and yet you are not serving God. What really serves God is not your hands, it's your heart first. There are people who are in church just because of the ritual of being in church. There are people who are just there because they were mandated there. But they are not genuinely serving God. Serving God comes from your love for him. But it comes from your determination to promote the interest and the purposes of God. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3. Give us Daniel 12 and verse 3 please. And they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forever and ever this is the heritage of those who serve God for a living who serve God for life you don't have to be a preacher to serve God you don't have to be a worker in church or that is profitable but beyond being a worker one who serves God is not just one who serves in church one who serves God is one who is obsessed and determined to see that the kingdom of God and the interest of God is promoted and established through your life service is a weapon of exemption Isaiah chapter 38 Isaiah chapter 38 give it to us quickly please so we pray Isaiah 38 beginning from verse 1 watch this now service is a weapon the Bible talks about Hezekiah that he was sick unto death and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came to him and said set your house in order for you are going to die things will not work for you go to verse 5 please for the sake of time hallelujah now the bible says hezekiah cried unto the lord and said remember how i have walked diligently before you when you study the bible you will know that hezekiah gave and he served god with his everything and the lord told the prophet isaiah go back again he says go and say to hezekiah Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. Reading to verse 8. It says, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. Reading to 8. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he hath spoken. 8 now. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees which is gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, 10 degrees backwards. So the sun returned 10 degrees by which degrees it was gone down. God had to reverse time to prove to a man that this is how much I'm committed to defending and exempting you. Isaiah was a genuine prophet, but service overturned his prophecy. Let me tell you the truth. Service is powerful. Service is powerful. Job chapter 36 from verse 11 and 12. Job 36, 11 and 12. If they obey and serve him, not obey alone. If they obey and serve him, ladies and gentlemen, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Consequence, verse 2. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge serving God with your time serving God with your energy serving God with your influence serving God with your resources is a guaranteed channel 
to experience exemption everything God has given me belongs to him and everything God has given me must serve him must M U S T if God gives me 10 naira I dare not lie down and worship God and my 10 naira is standing it must bow to everything when I bow to worship the king everything that I have must join to bow and worship him too is someone learning you serve God with your influence God has made you a director God has made you a senator how does the program of God how can it be promoted using this I'm not talking about blind fanatism that victimizes people based on race and gender and religion no but I'm talking about finding a space in what you do to see that the program of God is enhanced let me tell you the truth if the purposes of God is not represented in your growth your growth is a waste if the purposes of God is not enhanced through your resources then that wealth is absolutely useless from an eternal standpoint because nobody has died and gone out of the earth with their money or gold or jewelry or whatever it perishes here hallelujah there are many well people who have never given to the program of god i'm not talking about this hypocritic thing that hypocritical thing that people do just for name i'm not talking about politics I'm talking about people who love God sincerely right from when God was starting with us from nothing if God gives 10 naira at least a sizable portion of that 10 naira more everything belongs to him but something sizable must go into it I don't know if I should say this or not but recently the Lord gave an instruction because every time as a ministry we're moving into higher seasons there are many prophetic instructions that come both for me and for the ministry and the Lord gave a very serious instruction about a seed to sow as a ministry and when God said the amount even me I had to take a deep breath remember all I have is his own everything Koinonia has but there are some instructions that when you hear you have to say wow uh, let the grace for it to come with that instruction you see that now i'm saying this to encourage you so when god said this is what koinonia is going to sow for the next level of their life then the lord came with another instruction that surprised me he said two times what koinonia is sowing is what you are going to give as a personal seed hmm. yes sir I'm not saying this I hope you are, you are my people so I'm teaching you twice ah. those are the times that you will regret fine-tuning your ears why did I fast why didn't I just assume that I didn't hear him and you know those kind of instructions come with clarity and precision if you want a dream he will show you you want another vision a prophetic confirmation it will still come God for you twice that amount and I said Lord everything belongs to you I can't stand and be teaching God's people here if I cannot give you this much shame on me and my spiritual experience I said everything will go take all of me all of me Lord be careful with that song you're singing Be careful with that song you are singing, ladies and gentlemen. By the time God gives you instructions, everything. There are some of you, if you give a seed like that, you don't have to tell anybody. People will know something is wrong with you. They say you have been depressed. You are not, it's not, clearly not, it's not COVID, it's not malaria. Are you all right? And say, my brother, if I tell you what, I have done even you it will affect you so I should not even tell you so don't see God lifting and honoring people and just say they are lucky no find out what goes on beneath I'm, I'm not saying this to cajole or manipulate you as for me and God Abba no he knows cost be the day I cannot give God anything in my life because of um, whatever no 
everything money the, the least of what i will give him that is the reason why there are many warriors that fight in my life it's not only angels seeds are warriors they can stand at the gate and speak when you see god increasing this ministry and opening doors don't think this is magic god is not a magician he does not play games you are either in this sincerely and seriously or forget about it when god wanted many sons he carried his own son he didn't carry angel gabriel or michael he carried jesus sowed jesus as a seed while he cried the father turned his face but he still had love and he now brought many sons into glory when you see fathers of faith like bishop Oedipo shout and say i can never be poor they may not say it but go and find out some of the things they are doing there are many people today who if the devil wants to attack them the number of souls that their seeds in mission agencies have saved that's what will stand as a defense against them and say do you know 10,000 people got born again through this man's seed by what means will you kill the person many people making empty noise the realm of the spirit has no recognition for the sacrifices they have made gather unto me my saints he says they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice hallelujah because i knew that koinonia was stepping in. listen ladies and gentlemen honestly i say to you with humility if you think you have seen anything about this ministry it is a joke this is just warm up this is child's play there is a flight you know how a flight moves it starts moving as if it's joking and then when it gets to the runway it just runs and in less than one minute it has attained height unimagined that is what we are doing but it comes at the wings of sacrifice one time i was traveling somewhere and the pilot just announced that we have to delay a bit because they have to refuel the plane and he gave us the explanation he said because it's carried more load than expected i said wow that's interesting knowledge so everything has been calculated it's now carried more load than expected they need to put some more fuel my altar is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god i remember a time years ago when god gave me an instruction 72 hours i was with god my eyes did not see the sun whether it was morning or night 72 hours in his presence praying generating energy and generating fire no Ladies and gentlemen, we don't say these things to brag. We say these things to show you the inner workings. What you see on the altar is this is, the, the, this is not the engine room. You have to go behind and see the layers of the sacrifices, the blood that drips upon this altar. Hallelujah. Those who join occultism, they will ask them, when you want to step into certain dimensions, they will ask them, who can you give? Your wife, your child, whatever it is, or yourself. Say, no, no, God forbid, none of them say, okay, go back. You are not ready to do anything. There are others who come with determination and say, I want to get that political office. Kill anybody you will kill, including your wife. Let her die, I need that thing. This is what they do in the negative. But there are many believers to give God your time. If they give God 30 minutes of their time, they must hear a thank you from heaven. Oh no. 10 minutes prayer. And they want the fire and grace upon your life. 
that can shake territories god is not a magician ladies and gentlemen let me tell you 30 minutes sleepy bible study of just running through the same verse again and you want god to trust you to speak to nations and kings it does not happen that way god is not unjust he rewards the labor of love is someone learning and then the worst one is money ah people can obey anything but once god says 10 naira he say god you are wicked how much is here look at it yourself in case you are not seeing and god says you, you said that to me yes to you since you are inconsiderate god says that's all right keep your money and keep that realm then you get angry and say but we were working together but were you doing the same thing let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body listen when i was putting together that seed please help them this was the song i was singing ah no there are seeds that will touch your spirit you will know that something something touched the heavens I don't know what would have happened if God told me okay you are going to give twice maybe I would maybe my hearing over koinonia's amount because this is mathematics now if God is going to say twice you will almost hear nothing so that the twice <laughs> and until he told me and it was a serious seed you can imagine a ministry like this what seed it will give then God comes to me and say for you your instruction is twice that amount I said yes Lord this was the song I sang while I was praying. Mm. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and I'll hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar Please hear me. The covenant of service is a deep mystery that can bring supernatural exemption. If anybody ever tells you that this ministry went down in any form, whether financially or spiritually, I stand respectfully speaking to tell you, tell them it's a dream and a joke. You do not know the covenants and the mysteries upon which this vision is built one of it is just what i told you the mystery of sacrifice for as long as the earth remains for as long as the earth remains listen i teach you these things because i love you i teach you these things these are the mysteries that we have engaged that have brought us by the spirit there is nothing to hide. There is no magic in this thing. How do you get up? The Bible said there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. Scattereth your time, your energy. Hallelujah. I returned back last week 
and as soon as I arrived I couldn't make it for Koinonia sadly and then by the next day I had to go and preach for Baba Deboe and the redeemed at the camp you know sometimes when I'm traveling I'm just looking and say God my time my energy my body but then very quickly I remember that when I gave him everything I meant it this conditional Christianity of one leg here and another leg here believe me is why many people never touch certain levels of power and grace you want to see levels of wealth you want to see levels of increase and grace I may not boast to know everything I am a student myself but believe me when I tell you there are some things I know there are things you can do to close certain generational doors of lack poverty failure you can wave certain realms goodbye as for this anointing it will only be ever increasing no it, there's nothing to boast about it's not a lie you will never come here for koinonia and not find the fire of god burning upon this altar you will not invite someone to come for koinonia and the person shares the grace and goes back and says nothing happened you just watch that covenant follows you it's more than a message you may not know what has come upon your head when we stand to speak we are not entertainers i'm not a comedian when i tell you lift up your hands and i bless you believe me it is more than the speakings of a man there is blood dripping upon the altar that is why there is no territory that will not open up no the earth is governed by laws let the fire from your altar we're about to pray let the fire from your altar let the fire from your altar I had a vision a few weeks ago I say some of these things just to bless you and I saw a number of nations calling as a nation to come and pray for their parliament and pray over the nation as a nation to rededicate it to God and the Lord said this is the dimension that you are going into now when you hear some of these things it is I'm saying it to you so that when it happens you will know that there are people that hear God and then for you to know and to trust listen carefully to know and to trust that you are connected to a vision that the love and the jealousy of God has so defended what we stand for and he does this for his namesake I'm sharing this with you so that you will know what should happen in your life and what should not happen if you turn to your life and see that some things are not happening you have a right one who is connected to this vision some things don't keep quiet and just let it happen no when Saul met David he said whose son are you I need to know the possibilities that come with where you are coming from we're about to pray Your passionate love for Jesus number two the spirit of discernment discerning seasons discerning times discerning moments and then number three the covenant of service the service with your life your time your resources for someone God is speaking to you and I'm saying the way you are carelessly walking with God you may be a victim of these end times you will just walk with your eyes open into trouble it takes a very deep level of seriousness with God serving him with your whole life to say father I must register it in the realm of the spirit that I'm a useful tool as far as kingdom come is concerned it should not he said Jesus I know where was that register recorded Paul I know have you enrolled your name 
do demons and spirits know that this one is a touch not no don't come near this family this family has covenanted to serve god don't come near ah, but their fathers worship idols idols nonsense and the covenant speaks Let the fire from the altar Let the fire from the altar 